Frog, and we're going to be driving his 2013 Forerunner. We've both got... Well, I think you have... Do you uh, have the 39s or do you have the 37s? Uh, I wouldn't put the 37s on. 37s? So you're running 37s on the standard lift, and I'm running the bigger lift with the 39s. And then we're both running stock engines with off-road gearboxes, I think. Actually, I put the upgraded motor in. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's an interesting difference from mine. So you've got smaller tires, yet more power. You really will leave me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the tomcat chases a frog. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. It, oh. <laughs> well <laughs> then. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the whole back end's broken now. I think that deserves a repair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Well, all right. <laughs> By the time we actually both get out of the garage, it's going to be the next day. Uh, just just draw, make sure you don't, don't go out of second gear, and I think it'll be okay to not yeah. take damage immediately. <laughs> exactly. Now, I will say, though, you know what would be really cool to have behind this thing? a um, Like an adventure trailer. That would look so sick behind this. Yeah, I got to build one. Because I don't think anybody has built an adventure trailer for SnowRunner yet, like an Overland trailer. Uh, SnowRunner, no, I don't think so. MudRunner, yeah, there were a couple of them. But... A lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I say a couple of them slightly sarcastically, but... <laughs> <laughs> now, even though this is a stock map, there should be a few areas that actually offer some decent wheeling. Actually, out towards the mountain, um, past the dam, there's some areas that offer some decent wheeling with like some rocks and stuff. So what we can kind of do is effectively we can almost sort of make it seem like we're role playing, a, you know, like a trip all the way out to the mountains to go off road. But if we try to compare it to like, you know, 5M role play, I feel like people might yell at us. So what do you mean? This is better than 5M role play. We have real off road physics. <laughs> 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 Shots fired. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, let alone the fact that, you know, animations look a lot better in suspension. Well, they do. Well, for yourself, okay? For yourself, because they yeah, right. still haven't fixed it. <laughs> right. I'm just going to take a mud excursion because this thing looks really good when it actually, like, is in the mud. Yeah, and the suspension moves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that, this whole time I'm going to be staring at your, the fact that your suspension is not flexing for me <laughs> like, I mean uh, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that you can go in front yeah. of me if you want no no but, I'm following um, you man you know the way uh, alright but the cool thing though about this thing is like even though I know that a lot of people are going to say that they kind of you know prefer solid front suspension in a vehicle like this I think it's really cool that it's got like a basically fully animated, you know, IFS. Yeah, like, uh, I figured Spun had his solid axle rig version in Mudrunner. And then I made I... a solid axle version for Yeah Buddy, so it was like, you know what? Stock version for the public. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, though. I mean, the fact that, <laughs> that you have a, like, real fully animated working IFS that, I will admit, looks way better than the standard in-game IFS. Well, yeah, that's because it has real modeling. <laughs> the, the one, the one in like, even with the like the base lift, like the stock in-game lift, it literally looks like you took a rubber band and like pulled it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't look that good. Not really. I mean, of course, like with the lifted suspension when you get into like really flexing you can start to see it you know start to stretch out in the front but you can it, yeah it doesn't go to such an extreme where as soon as you lift it just in general it's looking stretched it looks perfect <laughs> like, yeah no like it like when you lift it it actually looks like you know like a real vehicle with a independent front suspension lift you know yeah and then you know it's also not just covered in rust and dirt <laughs> yeah, that's another that, that that's a nice thing <laughs> it, it's just hilarious the fact that like when you bring a nice clean vehicle like this into a game where everything's all dirty and rusted on the stock vehicles people complain like <laughs> it's like it must look like it's 100 years old and came out of a rotting barn 
All right, like, got a 2013 truck. Well, that needs to look like it just got pulled out of a field for 30 years that it's been sitting there, <laughs> you know? Like, right? the truck's not even that old, but they want it to look that way. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it's just kind of, in a, to a certain extent, that's kind of the aesthetic that the game has adopted, you know? And I feel like people just kind of get, when they get used to a certain aesthetic approach in a game, they kind of expect things to look that way. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't see a lot of rusted out 2013s anywhere. You know, so. <laughs> I, I, I don't really. I mean, even the ones that are flood title don't look that way. So you know. Like, right. Like they want it to look like it's lived in Mississippi for its whole life. You know, just oh trudging God. through the swamps. Like. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, none of these Tennessee rigs out here looking like that. At least none of the 2013 Tennessee rigs. Right. Well, you might see, like, an old square body or something rusted to shit, but <laughs> it's a yeah, square exactly. body. That's an old truck. <laughs> well, and square bodies are anything that was, like, eight, like 70s and 80s GM is bad for rust anyway. And that's not me picking on GM. That's just, I feel like, me kind of, like, partially stating a fact about vehicles that rust. I mean, right. I mean... I mean, even like a, my dad's 2003, uh, freaking blazer has like rust in the frame and it's a 2003. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like then again, I mean, there's things that just happen over time, but I feel like to be fair though, I feel like, I feel like I see less rusted out older for, and I'm probably going to get some hate for this, but Oh like, no, Chevy for sure is, you know, known for being a vehicle that will rust while it's sitting in the driveway. <laughs> I mean, but then again, it's not like exclusive to Chevy. I mean, heck, like early two thousand, early 2000s Miatas rust really bad. Yeah. 95 Land Rovers don't though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, literally, if I go look at the frame on the, on the, oops. The disco out front, like there's not much rust at all compared to my dad's 2003 Blazer. Like, <laughs> I mean, Blazer's it's got a lot disco. of rust. It was made was made for the Saharan Desert. At least that's what the Land Rover sales rep will tell you. Right. <laughs> it's made to bomb <laughs> through the desert. Like, yeah, exactly. It was made to bomb through the desert and then spend like a week at the dealership getting every bushing replaced. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, ours just has security problems. Oh, really? Like, is it like an immobilizer issue or something? Yeah, and we, we still haven't been able to figure out exactly which, uh, like, security system it has in it. So, <laughs> trying to fix it's a little bad. <laughs> like, I feel like that's kind of... I don't know. I feel like that would be a good place to start, would be figuring out what kind of security system it actually was. Yeah. I mean... We, we still can't figure out if it was the spider or not, the spider security system, because that one literally goes through everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty I'm trying bad. To see if I, I'm trying to see if I can actually go up here. Yeah, maybe. You know what? I would be able to if not for the, uh, the loose rocks right there, because they keep catching my tires. I'm... Um, well, maybe... Every time I get up onto the rock, like every time I get one of my front wheels up onto the big rock, one of the loose rocks catches my wheel. Just put her in four low. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna like, like, <laughs> give that a response. Uh, okay, put it in low low. <laughs> like low low or lower low? Low low low. <laughs> or high low. <laughs> <laughs> the super low. <laughs> Choose that Toyota crawler here. It, it'll work. <laughs> you mean like standard low or low enough that red won't yell at me for going too fast low? Yeah, low enough where red won't yell at you for going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I got to give him crap for that because he <laughs> that was like his line for so long. <laughs> was just slow down. I mean, like, I yeah? agree. I agree <laughs> with him when it came to Mud Runner. Like a lot. Well, I mean, yeah. you're you're a little better on it in Snow Runner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I I I did speed everywhere in Mud Runner though. 
Like, I was bad for it, and Bud Runner just speeding all over the place. Right. Okay, <laughs> like, so low, low, low is not giving me enough power to get up the... Get I gave off. myself, like, a tiny little tug with the winch to get my back wheel over the loose stuff. Oh, I was just trying to get the front tire up, and it was, like, just spinning in super low. It was yeah. like, we don't have the wheel speed to get over this lip of the rock. Sorry. I did it in, like, just middle, like... I mean, now I'm making up another name. Middle low. But... <laughs> it's like, oh, what gear were you in? Middle low. The hell gear is that, bud? Like... Right. Uh, I, I think my stock engine actually is better for crawling. It... Well, actually, don't forget, though, I have the bigger tires. Oh, yeah. The bigger tires do play a role. And the lift. Yeah, I have the bigger tires in the lift. And I feel like, actually, I wonder if... Because I put it in, like, normal low at, like, half throttle with the big tires in the lift. I feel like... Because, like, the tires would just, like, slowly, like... They would very slowly rotate. I mean, there was... I could get the wheel speed ultra slow if I wanted it to. Oh, yeah. It's that crawler crawler box, you know? Yeah. Had to make it feel like a Toyota crawl box. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to gonna use a tiny winch to get the tire off that lip that it didn't want to climb. There was a... I can't remember where I saw the video, but it was a video of a... like It was like a taco or something, and it had like 42s on it, but it had... Like, it had a crawler box that was already geared really low, and then it had a doubler behind the crawler oh, box. Oh, yeah. And, and the guy puts it in four low, points it at the rock, and then gets out and stands mm -hmm. there and talks to the camera while it walks up the rock. Yeah, I like, remember watching that video, dude. That was fucking amazing. I was just like, dude, I want it. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think it's He's just trying. These, I think it's just the rock friction in general. Like, there's like no friction on any of these stock rocks. Friction's weird. Like, and and it's weird too because like some tires I find will have like a lot of friction, and others will just act like it's ice. It's very odd. Right, and I use the same like rock friction for my tires because it feels decent, and then it's so, just the build comes so, into play on it. Yeah. So like, I guess like. For you, like, aesthetically, you don't change any, like, you change the tires aesthetically, but they're all, they all have the same rock grip, right? I yeah, think. the same rock grip. Like, if, uh, when I go with, like, tractor tires or legitimate mud tires, I'll up the mud friction, but I usually yeah. leave the rock friction alone because it's, like, where I found that it sits works decently for the stock rocks. That makes sense. I mean, it makes sense to me. Because, like, if you, if you took a put like the stock games k1500 on my tires and then did a comparison between the you know upgraded one versus like the stock one with the regular game tires it'll never claw crawl that same rock that my tires I, will yeah right exactly it's because most of these rocks literally because i think it was uh what's his name uh puppy I'm pretty sure he had mm -hmm. said something in uh, our little SnowRunner DMs where we do our, all our modding stuff and help each other. Uh, he had said something about that's the reason why we can't climb any of the rocks. They don't have any friction on them. Because I think huh. it's at like 0.2. It's like a 0.2 friction. Jeez. Yeah. No, I know that um, I know that Gonzo did that rock traction fix like way early on, but I didn't play with it much and I'm not quite sure how much it altered the rocks. <laughs> Yeah, I never added it into my game either. Like, <laughs> I haven't used any mod that it doesn't just subscribe and install. Yeah, that one had, like, a weird, like, <laughs> you had to, you had to actually, like, I think, I might be completely wrong here, but I think you had to add in a file and you had to actually go and change a line or two in the XML to get it to work. Probably. Sounds but, about right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this would be an interesting climb over on the right. I mean, dirt, it climbs up pretty much just fine. Like, dirt walls. Yeah. There was a rock back here in that dip that you mm -hmm. your body didn't hit because of your lift. Like, my front bumper dug into it. Oh, God. <laughs> and it was like, no, we're not we're, we're not climbing over it, so I had to back up and turn a little Jeez. bit around it. 
letting it kind of slide into oop, slide into place. Do a little three wheel in action. Easy. There we go. No, oh, it's on three wheels again. <laughs> Independent suspension life. Right. right. I'm going to do a little bit different line than you took. So I'm going to just go a little wider. Around yeah. There. To be fair, my, the line that I took is probably the whole reason Ooh. why I three wheeled so much. I, mean, I three wheeled a little bit right there. I had yeah. to turn towards the tree. <laughs> Oh, this is sick, though. Like, getting to the watchtower up here. Like, having both of these rigs up at the watchtower is pretty sick. Oh, yeah. I wish I had, like, the option to use free cam in multiplayer. Like, that'd be the coolest thing. I mean, we just, free cam in multiplayer so you could get some decent pictures. We just need dev tools on stock maps. That's all we need. Well, dev tools on stock maps is another thing. I mean, but I think... I think... At least to me, the reason why I feel like they won't do that is because they probably feel like it'll just destroy the experience if they well, let you turn them on and then give well, you some no, max no, no, no. money. I mean, just like with Mud Runner, it had to be an outside party that did it. Like, well, I'm just yeah, waiting for them true. to have SnowRunner dev tools, which literally just puts the dev box, you know, over top of the custom or the stock maps. I, I mean, I would use it. I would use it. I just oh, no. use it for free cam so I can actually get good pictures when I'm out on, you know, the stock game maps. Well, because the, okay, because the lighting on the stock maps is amazing. I love the lighting. The lighting is so good. But, like, I want to be able to capture that, you know? Right. I mean, I mean, look at the sunrise through the trees. It's freaking gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I love the but, freaking like, little flares. Oh, and Red's yeah. here finally, by the way. He's muted. <laughs> Hi, bud. <laughs> I just looked over Tasty at the laptop. And froggy sitting in a tree. Hey, we tried to get you in here too, but you're late. K I S S I N G. Ah, the 1970s called. They'd like their song back. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, well, no, we are decently away from the garage. I was going to say, Red could join us. And uh, he could join us, but it'd be a trek. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see those rocks over there on the left? Uh, yes. Like that ridge? I want to see if we can go up that ridge. Maybe. Find out when Maybe. we get there. Hey, we'll find out, all right. We'll probably, Ooh. I'll probably end up rolled over because the extra that happens height. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't drive with the lift kit on it because it actually does make it very top heavy. Because yeah. with, like, the way I set it up, the down or the center of gravity is perfect for the stock lift. I see. So it actually does kind of screw up the center of gravity when you, tur when you put the lift on. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Just a little bit. But to be fair, like, that's what it would do in real life, too. So that makes sense. Right. All right. Let's go climb this ridge or at least attempt to climb this ridge yeah might work probably won't Take it ow <laughs> i mean it'll work if you avoid the rocks here i thought you were gonna climb over the big old rocks i was gonna say that's impossible <laughs> well i was gonna try and go up a little bit and then start driving on the big rocks like when i got like three quarters of the way up yeah because the rocks just they, they have no friction <laughs> <laughs> rocks it's like like oh yeah i'm gonna go rock crawling and the game is like you are not allowed like you might as well go try to crawl a building you get as much traction oh. <laughs> i'm good just tips over like hold on just lean over to the passenger side we'll be okay exactly <laughs> oh 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 pro pro <laughs> oh god <laughs> Oof. Oh, uh, yeah, just back up a little bit. Push me over. I'll <laughs> uh, try it. Oop. <laughs> Lay Oop. down on the rock. Oop. Something's gonna... Oh, oh. There we go. My motor started. We're good. Oh, <laughs> don't take me with you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that was a moment. Oh. Uh. 
Yeah, I tried to not do any type of points on that turn and just straight turn I it. I don't know how I am okay right now. That oh makes god, not no again! <laughs> oh no, did you do it again? I did it again! It's okay, I'm good. I'm good now. How here. the heck have I even made it this far right now? I'm like... <laughs> It, it was all I... in how you had that back tire when you went onto those rocks. Like, yeah. Because that's what took me over was my back tire came up and I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am not where I'm where I intended to be right now, though. Now I am. Oh, kind of. Oh, oh, my God, that worked. See, I have grip on these rocks. Decent amounts anyway. Holy crap! Yeah, I think that these works. Rocks, yeah, these rocks might have a little bit more friction than those other ones we were just on. I mean, these feel like they have some degree of friction. They're not perfect. They're not mud runner rocks, but they feel like they've got some. Well, well, nothing can ever be spun in Nick's rocks. So. No. <laughs> those rocks were, I mean, kind of legendary, honestly. Oh yeah. Have a have oh. a tug, bud. I didn't need that. I was just trying to ease myself around there. I'm here though. Oh. If it starts to go, oh, oh. Okay. Luckily, nice the back end slid rather than just oh. falling over. <laughs> God, you might have that though. No. Oh. I'm Come gonna on. move up just in case you need to like. Like bump it. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh. Ho oh. <laughs> ho <laughs> Sketchiness. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Good it's, lord. It's that bud. ultra low gear doing its work there, you know. I know. But I gotta turn myself to where I can actually get my tire on this rock. Well, I mean, it's let right. Me, let me yeah. use a little wind shear just to. Maybe that. I don't know if that was enough. Yeah. Ah, it was no. almost enough. Let me. We'll just. There we go. There you go. Or nope. High centered a little bit. Can I All use right. myself around? Nope. All right. Yep. Just gonna. Gonna keep pulling here. <laughs> Something will give. There we go. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <Got Whoa>. it. <laughs> almost tipped on you man it was like really close yeah if i had the lift kit i would have tipped <laughs> yeah but we got it down oh, no! <laughs> i'm like i look backwards and then all i see is your rear end come into frame when you say that <laughs> see this for some reason this texture has great traction that's because this is just a texture on the dirt yeah, it's not like the rock mesh. Yeah. So you get just perfect traction all the way up it. As you it's should. crazy <laughs> how like much fur how much further past the playable area they they built out, you know. Well, it's because they couldn't have just you know done it like Forza or something and have like you know invisible <laughs> or like ground that's not actually there. Exactly. I mean, it's an off-roading game. I better be able to go everywhere. <laughs> right, exactly. All right. I know exactly how to finish this. Send it off the rock there? Because mm -hmm. that's like a straight drop. <laughs> I stalled! The game <laughs> will not let... No, 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 no! <laughs> Why won't you just let me do Damn! Yeah! It's okay, I got oh. into high gear for us both. You were Oh my god. Alright, well That's um, one way to come down the hill. <laughs> that's one way to do the thing. Alright. <laughs> oh Jesus, dude. <laughs> Okay, the guardrail has less. Actually, I think the guardrail has more friction than the rocks. Don't ask but me yeah. how. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Your tire just like just caught up with you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like as you were driving, 
you were missing a tire. It was still behind the guardrail. And as you were like oh. 10 or 15 feet away from the guardrail, <laughs> the tire was like, no, and like ran back to the back axle. Uh, gotta love it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I love this game. It's a great game. No obvious flaws. No flaws at all. It's just perfect. They just, it is they don't need to well fix anything. Made Perfect game with zero flaws whatsoever. <laughs> 10 out of 10 IGN. Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you I think it would do that. Did you try to just send it up the rock? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it would do that. Room. Never mind. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, once the game forced the bumper over, it was like, okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. I got the motor welcome. started again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh, my front my end God. looks like garbage, but hey, you know. Dude, my front end looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> I, uh, I can see two of my amber lights still. All the rest are hidden. <laughs> I can see, what, three? Yeah. Oh, dude, my my spare on my roof rack is deformed. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> the game doesn't know it's a tire. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. You just you, you just leave your trailers parked in the middle of the way. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, my God. I got to back out and get ready for a video release. But <laughs> this was hilarious. Can I drive on your trailer? I don't know. I, probably not. I wish I could. Let me try before I have to back out. Let me try. Uh. No way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. No way. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This could be revolutionary. Oh, maybe I should uh pull my. Well, no. If I put, get the front end up, I gotta get the back end up. Yeah. Yeah. My back end. I mean. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, that might All be right. just enough. There we go. <laughs> Not for the front end. Uh-uh. Oh, Weird. Man. Like, it'll go. I thought it just wouldn't recognize it, but it does recognize the surface. It just can't go up. I would need, like, a ramp, you know, an even, <laughs> a ramp or even higher <laughs> suspension or something. Or bigger tires. Just or, put some fifty twos yeah. on it, you know. Clip through Jesus. all your fenders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh there my was god! Holding frog around in the back of the Cummins, he was in the Renegade. <laughs> oh yeah, That's hilarious. Uh, that was hilarious. It just—it was so desynced though. Because like oh, really? for me, I was perfect in the back of it. For Red, I was like half cocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But either way, oh my god. I'm going to back out and go over that footage, but that was great. That was freaking great. Well, at least my video will have that in the end where I drove over your vehicle. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you keep <laughs> Did you keep going? <laughs> yeah, I'm stopping my recording like right now. 